hello everybody and welcome back to my channel um i'm doing something a little bit different uh today well actually i've been working on this for a while and it's a project that my son's fiance has asked me to do she is a massive 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 fan of a band called panic at the disco and she went to their last ever concert so she's has asked me to make her something to remember and commemorate and you know all the rest of it uh so i have put something together and it's going to be um a biggish mixed media project um so there's going to be four canvases so i've got three here i've already started one um and the other one is going to be that way <laughs> um so they're all different sizes as well uh so let me show you what i have got to decorate it with um so she wants this on and i thought if i just stick it down with some card um cut it out and um, maybe raise it up a little bit um i'm not too sure yet uh so i she took some photos, so I've just printed them out on some uh, paper and stuck them to cards. So these are the colours. So it's sort of like, it's technicolour and um, very in-your-face colours. Uh, so that's what I've got. Um, I've also got a little basket full of words. I've got these Scrabble uh, letters to spell out Panic at the Disco. And I've got some of these um, chipboard words. Uh, so I've got them. I've also got um, a photo of, I can't remember his name. Uh, she did tell me, uh, but yeah. So I printed this out on photo paper, but I've also printed it out on normal paper. It's so much nicer on photo paper. Beautiful. Um, so let me show you what I've got oh, on this. <laughs> this. This is what they got. Um at the concert and I found an old CD uh, so I've decorated this up it's quite nice and I, I like the way it looks on there but it does need something else behind it I think we'll see once we've finished these canvases um, so I've already started this one um, and it's got a lovely lovely effect on it um, I really really like it and the way I got it is I uh, prepped my canvases um, and painted them uh, with white gesso and then went over it with black and I used a very very soft brush to get like the wispy bits um, and I love the way that has turned out uh, so I'm going to put that down and I've got these two to work on um, so they are going see if I can get this right um, I think that was going at the top. I've <laughs> lost my my thing now. Is that going at the top? Um, I think it was going up. Oh, it was going something like this. I think was it? <laughs> I've forgotten already. Anyway, I've marked it out where I want my um, black to go, but I am going to go over it. Actually, we'll do the small one first. Um, so I'm going to go over this white, I'm just going to mark the edge of my um, canvas just so I know not to go over because I'm going to cover it with white, in, in white gesso. So let's get started. So this is exciting. I'm I'm really really liking um, doing different things and you know just having fun really. Okay. So as you can see, you can still see the black through it anyway. Is that my doggy? Eh? Do you know what? I think I've left her outside. Um. Okay. I won't be a minute. Yeah, I accidentally left her outside. Totally forgot about her. Naughty. <laughs> right, okay. So, 
let's finish doing this I mean, it doesn't really make a difference where I go up to because um, I might change my mind in what I'm doing. So we have that. I'm just going to put that there. Now I have this. It's just black acrylic. Um, I've actually run out of um, black gesso. So any, any black paint would do, actually. Right. So all I did was just took a brush and put done that that is all I did oh, we've got white on let's try not get white in there yeah and that is all I did uh, I can't wipe that back off in there right. and I forgot to bring some water in with me so, yeah okay so I'm going to take this uh, very very soft brush it's a makeup brush um let me just get some more kitchen roll so I can wipe down put that there I've got lots of paint brushes out because <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do um so oh this is the nerve-wracking bit whether or not it's actually going to work out so all I did was very 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 simple I went in different directions and it just give that gorgeous gorgeous smoky effect um i'm going to wipe my brush off because it's getting too dark and yeah i'm just doing that so and yeah just go with the floor i suppose I just I, I love the effect I got right, I'm gonna wipe it off once more probably have to wipe it off again yeah and just keep keep working at it really right, I'm just going I'm going very very softly want to do that and it leaves the brush marks I get some more tissue uh kitchen roll yeah I like it but I do want a bit more white down here so I'm gonna get another brush and just little bits of white there like this off and I have got a little brush because what I'm planning to do is do like a feather effect on it as well when this dries so it's going to be there's going to be lots of different colours and I'm using different types of mediums so I've got uh, get crackled gel and I've got the enamel as well. And I just want to see what it actually does. I've also got some sprays. I've got green. Um, I've got some Pretty Gets Gritty Explosion Powder. And I've also got some Shimmer Powder. And yeah, we will see. Okay, let's bring that white right in. Oh, that's lovely. I like that a lot. Nope, I need to wipe it down. I like it. I like it a lot. I just, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, let me see. <laughs> I'm just going to put it on the floor next to my big one that I did. Um, just to see how much of a mess I've made of it. Um, Never mind. It's all good. Yeah. 
Okay, so this one, it does look really, really good. The texture's just amazing. Right, so this is in the wrong place because I need to come down this way a little bit. So, um, I'm going to put my um, heat tool on uh, just to dry it. Just that bit at the top here and give it another coat, I think. Got a paintbrush hair. And projects like this is it's just it's all about experimenting. I mean, I should have really of um tested first <laughs> just to be sure, but I just went all in. All in. Okay. So I mean these probably aren't gonna match up. Um, but it's okay, right? I'm just going to get my heat tool, so it is going to be a bit noisy. Um, so I'm going to start it now. It shouldn't take too long. See, I love mixed media. I love getting dirty. I love messing about with paints and different techniques. And yeah, it just it makes me feel happy. Especially if you've had a stressful day. Um, I haven't had a stressful day. I've, it's, you know, it's morning. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's actually been okay uh, this morning. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? Should be dry enough. You might see it a little bit coming through, but I'm not too bothered about it. And if I am, I'll just paint over it. So it's the best thing about doing things like this. If you don't like it, it's very easily just painted over. And you can start again. I know it's a bit of a, a bit of a faff, but yeah, it's about having lots and lots of fun. Right, I'm just gonna get some more tissue and just give this a good rub off because um, I don't really want to wa wash it at the moment. It took ages last time uh, to dry. Okay, that'll do. I know I don't want to go up here, so I want to keep it about here and go across that way. So, where I put my paint, it's all in where I put my paint. So, across here. And I'm not going to put a lot on this time. No, 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 no. And just mess about really bring it out a little bit oh, beautiful of them little swirly bits and then i'm going to go across here i'm going to leave the middle quite dark actually bring it out a little bit more and then play with it <laughs> How beautiful does that look? I love it. And I'm not completely mixing it in either. Oh, I like it. I'm going to rub it off a little bit more and come up here a little bit. I know I said I didn't want to go up there, but yeah. I can always fill in or whatever. Like I said, I can change it. Yep, 
count it that other way. So what is everybody else up to today? Um, are you crafting? Are you doing something else? I just want the soft bits back. Um, are you taking it easy? So I'll, I'll be taking it easy for the rest of the day, I think. This just needs to be blended a bit more. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I really, really do. I like the way that looks. I'm going to leave it as it is before I get do anything else because I know I'll spoil it. And what I'm going to do with the edges and it is I'm going to go all the way around um, with um, some distress ink or something, and then I'm going to go around again in black uh, just to frame everything. Right? Let's see how it looks together and see how much of a change. I need to make right okay I'm just gonna go on the floor <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend these together while they are together and then they will match sorry <laughs> back in a moment right okay that needs to be changed up there so i'm just gonna put a bit on there um my white pen i'm just dabbing on my the, the first one that i did um and i will bring it up and i will show you what I did, so I need to go up a bit like that. There we go. Okay, they are matching. <laughs> right. So, I just did this little bit up here, just so they match. Um, so I'm going to quickly dry it, so I'm putting the heat tool on now. I love, absolutely love the way this has come out. Absolutely beautiful. I just love the effect that I've got. I don't know what made me think of, um, getting a soft brush, like a, a makeup brush. I just... Yeah, it's like, ooh. So I was hunting around bedrooms. It's actually one of my daughter's makeup brushes. Um, but I don't think she'll mind too much. She didn't really wear makeup. Right, so. Nearly done. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I won't be using that again because I want this to dry naturally, uh, what I'm going to do now. Uh, so I have my my little makeup brush, very, very soft brush. Um, I'm just going to put the lid back on my black in case I, I spill it. Put that over there. Um, I leave the white out because I may need it. I'm going to mess up my hair already. Um, yeah, let's just put you there. Um, uh, right, where's my little brush? Just in case, I want my little brush. So, I did have a little bit of a play with these um crackle enamels. I just hope it's going to work on this because it is pretty dark. Oh, it goes, please don't spoil it, please don't spoil it. So, I'm just gonna do this. Oh, the big bit. 
Please work. <sighs> so, you're not going to see it too much yet. But, yeah, it's just like... I don't even know if you'd be able to see it. Because I did this. Mm, you can't really see much of that. Mm. Um, where is it? Right. Let's use the purple. And just put... A line you're probably thinking what are you doing but this is just the background um, and like I said I can change it whenever I want to just get the pin off there um, if I'm not happy and I should get some sort of effect because it is it is crackle like medium So I'm just doing like half circle motions. Right, so I've got that. Right, and this is turquoise. The other one was tipsy. <laughs> I like the names. Tipsy. It's like I might have to do something else with um with this. So I'm just gonna bring it across here. Um, bring it up here because it's white there so okay leave that in there so really I'm just I'm flicking I think I am going to have to get some other paints on this. Because you can only see it on the white. But it would be interesting to see, you know, the type of effects I'm going to get on it. Um, I want some more purple on double dipping um because i haven't brought any water in with me so yeah okay so just put some purpley bits up here and it's just really seeing what you get like it will be one of a kind Nobody else will have anything like this. <laughs> Flick. Flick. I'm hoping the effect I get is going to be amazing. We'll see. <laughs> Watch this space. I will show it all together at the end. I will go through... Um, so I think this is going to be uh, in a couple of parts, I'm guessing. Fun, fun, fun. Flick, flick, flick. Flick. Let me just have a close up look uh, I'm just bringing in like big circles big flicks should I say okay I mean you can see the colours and I do I love that I just hope I can get the same effect um, on my other pictures right so i have this uh 
explosion powder. I'm going to put it on my hand because I don't want big, massive bits on it. So, and the way I'm going to get it wet, because I'm not going to put any water on this, is uh, I'm going to use a, a gold spray. Um, right, so this is my gold plate gold spray and I've had to decant it it's a nouveau uh, mica mist and I've actually decanted it because my spray bottle doesn't work <laughs> so I've got these little bottles um, but I actually got these off um, our lovely Dawn okay so I think that's mixed up enough um, do you know what I think I should do <laughs> is put the tops on so they don't dry out like that and this one I do have a white one but I think yeah that's not going to show up at all <laughs> so all mixed up and I'm going to do it from a great height and just do this oh look at the colours I'm getting see blues Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. I had no idea this is what was going to happen. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. I've never, I've never tried doing um, that before. Look at the effects I've got there. Isn't that just beautiful? It looks a little bit like a galaxy, doesn't it? I like it. I did want the colours to be nice and vibrant and in your face. Um, but I quite like them, like mottled type, like this. I want a big spot of gold on there. <laughs> and I think it's this is what I'm going to do um, with all of them. I'm just going to do that just so it's not a puddle. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to do that with all of them. Hopefully, get the same type of effect. Oh, I love how that has come out. Right, I have to wait for them once to dry. Uh, so this is part one. Um, I don't want to go on for too long because I don't know how long it's been going on for. Um, but yeah, part one. Uh, part two, you will see that I have... I'm just going to get all my... Um, where's the tissue? All my brushes together. Uh, you will see that I... Uh, we'll have uh, finished the other two um, canvas and uh, all the brushes I've used <laughs> and um, I'm probably I'm going to prep these on camera get all these prepped out um, along with uh, all the other little bits and figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this, because I have, right, this is this is what the photo is going to go, I'm, I've picked up that one, I don't want that one, uh, so I've picked up the, the photo, and I'm thinking something like that, um, obviously I'm going to cut all the, the white bits off, uh, so this will go in the middle somewhat, um, and then I'm thinking of decorating the outside of the frame. So I've got some bits of paper that I've got. I don't know what I've done with it. Bits of paper that I've got left over. What have I done with it? Uh, from cutting down up oh, there. Cutting down all the, the pictures. Uh, so I thought I would use these bits to decorate around the frame and I've also got ah uh, they're over there I can't reach them uh, if I knock you I'm sorry oh there we go I've also got some uh, chipboard uh, fancy flurry things uh, that I'm planning on using on on that frame for the picture and maybe if I've got some left oh look at them um I can use them on the canvases as well see what it looks like um so I will be back 
with part two um mm. with the the other canvas is finished and i will be prepping my um pictures to actually go on to my numerous canvases oh look at that sparkly i love it <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna go and wash my brushes um if you enjoyed watching me messing about and getting dirty and yeah uh, please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think and if you are not already a subscriber please consider subscribing and i will see you in my next video bye bye